sure if it's just scrape something up down here. It looks like either a button or a cufflink button. Yeah, it's a cufflink button. Probably would have had a stone in there, paste stone at some point. would have been used on leather. Got no idea what these little lead discs are, there's loads of them around here. Don't appear to have anything on them, but just blank discs. Tiny little button. Yeah, tiny. Maybe a glove button. a token or coin 
child thing. Some sort of hammered coin or token. Really not sure on that. It's only got one letter, so I don't think it's a trader's. to let you know on that. Victorian, it's not that old, but cool. Talks, it's not that old, but cute. Peter Button down there.
yesterday at Coral. Probably came in on the ballast of shit. I think it's French. Just wanted to say something about that tiny little coin I found earlier and it actually turns out to be an early milled coin of George the first who ruled from 1714 to 1727 and it's Maundy money it's a Maundy penny 
And Maundy money was actually first introduced just down the road from where I live in Rochester at the cathedral, introduced by King John in 1213. And I guess you'd say it was some kind of religious royal PR stunt where the king would actually pretend he was some kind of Jesus figure and wash the feet of the poor before handing out this silver coinage. And I believe the ceremony is still done to this day, but without the feet washing. In the 17th century, the practice of washing the feet of the poor was deemed unhealthy for a monarch to carry out, so they would employ someone else to do it on their behalf. Until the 18th century, when the foot washing thing was done away with altogether. Uh, it's an interesting little page of history and covered by the Thames as usual. I'll leave you with some images and I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Have fun folks. Take care.